So quizzes, like I said, oh wait, I do not accept late assignments, late quizzes, you know, unless you have a documented illness, documented, documented, legitimate shit, um, documented, athlete, you know, whatever, AEC accommodations, anything, but some, some bull crap, you know, come on now. All right, so quizzes are at the end of most modules. They're, you know, between eight to 15, maybe a little bit more, uh, true, false, multiple choice questions. At the beginning of each module, there's an overview that tells you what you need to know for the quiz. Um, anything that will be on the quiz from the readings, I talk about in lectures. So like, you should do some of the readings. You should listen to the music. I make Spotify playlists and post YouTube links, you know, all that stuff. You know, you can listen to some of that and read, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, but like, I'm not gonna like quiz you on some random little thing buried in a reading, all right? Anything from the readings I talk about, but I do think you should read, but it's college, yo, right? Like we know like how reading goes, right? Like, oh, I'm in class, I'm excited. It's week one, week two, I'm reading, I'm reading everything, I'm reading every word, I'm super into it. It's week four, you're like, eh, I ain't, I'll read a little bit. You know, by week seven, like, you dropped off, you know, the cl you've cliffed it, man. You ain't reading nothing. Maybe there's like two nerds who are reading through week 10, but you know, um, that's kind of the deal on that. I hope you read, like, but read smart, you know, which means like, don't read every single word, read through things, okay? Um, but anyways, you have 25 minutes to complete the quizzes. Here is the deal, here is the, the, the good part, right? I drop the five lowest quizzes. They automatically drop, so they'll just automatically drop in Canvas. So five, that's like, 30%, a third, whatever. Um, and quizzes are open note. Like, I can't police how you take a quiz in the virtual world, right? So they're open note, you know? So take good notes, pay attention, read the module overview, what to know for the quiz. I mean, I can't make it any more like in your face. Like what you need to know for the quiz, like there it is, it's for you, it's right there, it's laid out for you. Um. Also important thing about quizzes, never, ever, 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 take them on your phone. Um, take them if, you know, take them on a computer and when you're on a computer, make sure that you're using um, <clears throat> uh, Chrome or Firefox. Apparently, um, Canvas and Safari do not get along. They don't, they don't, they don't mix well. So do do it on a computer. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that's that. All right. Each uh, week for your discussion section, except for the first week, um, uh, I, I post in the second module of the week, you know, two or three prompts, questions. And I expect you to write a page is perfect, but up to two pages, but please a page, you know, um, response to the questions, which is responses to the materials. You then to actually do this thing where you print them on these paper things. Remember when we did that? And you bring it to your discussion section will count as your attendance. Now, you'll be able to hand that in via email to your GEs if you have a documented reason for missing class, okay? Um, going out the night before and getting too litty, um, you know, and you're too hungover, it does not qualify. So, um, you know, or forgot or whatever, you bring it to class, you get the, you get the credit. Uh, week one, uh, you don't have one of those when you go into discussion section. So I have a, um, a discussion thread where it's graded and it's in the first module where you post a video where you talk about yourself. How hard is that, right? We can all talk about ourselves. So, um, you know, talk about yourself, introduce yourself. I get to meet you, right? Because I may not ever meet you um, unless you come to the office hours or whatever, um, you know. And again, I want to really stress, like, I have a set office hour for this class, but it's by, there's by appointment. <clears throat> um, and I've obviously given you my cell phone number. So you get like, full access to your homie but here's the deal yo do not like text or call me late 
like I got a kid, I'm a dad, you know, and I get up early, like five, and so I'm probably asleep. If you text me like at like midnight asking me a question about a quiz, I'm texting you at five in the morning with an answer. So let's just be respectful <laughs> in that sense, all right? But really for the weekly discussions, a page, please, a page is perfect, you know, that's all. And that will just give you something to bring to class. All right, you're gonna do a presentation on a hip hop song, so start thinking about it now. You can click on the syllabus on the link, it will take you to the assignment description, it tells you everything I need, it gives you an example of, um, of an outline, a nice outline for this, whatever. So you're gonna sign up, there's a sign up link you click on, you wanna sign up for that. Um, and starting, I believe, week six, We'll be giving presentations in class, okay? Um, and these are five to seven minute presentation of the song of your choice. And you gotta put it in its social historical context. Basically do what I do kind of throughout the term, um, you know, and you wanna like, you know, break, break down a song in a specific way. And I do a lot of this throughout the term for many, many songs, so I'll give you some examples. I also try to pull some ones that students have done in the past um, and, and uh, upload those so you can see like some exemplar ones, okay? Um, I believe in week four, you have a short one paragraph, you know, two paragraph proposal, a pitch that you're gonna give um, to your GEs, you're gonna submit, on, well, you're not gonna give them to them, you're gonna submit it on Canvas, you'll get feedback from your GEs on that. Um, you can also hit me up for some feedback if, if, you'd, if you'd like or come to office hours. Um, you do an outline, whatever, and this is important. This is for you, it's not for us. Like, I don't, you know, whatever, like, I'm doing this, this is for you. This is so that in week four, you're thinking about what you're gonna be maybe doing in week six, instead of thinking about it in week six and going, oh shit, I have a presentation tomorrow, what am I gonna do? Um, you'll have some time in your, in your discussion sections to workshop ideas, work through ideas with some of your peers, et cetera. Um, yeah, okay, but there's a sign up link. One thing is, is like, we'll be a little bit nicer, a little bit softer, a little bit easier on people who go early on because we realize like people who go first, you know, you don't get to sit through everybody's work. You don't have as much time. You don't get to see the successes and some of the mistakes of your peers, um, you know, on the big stage. Um, so, you know, there's a little bit more leeway um, there for y'all. Um, <clears throat> lastly, there's take home essays um, that are due, you know, approximately starting in week four and then, I don't know, week seven and then um, right before finals week um, or during finals week, excuse me. And um, these are two to four pages. The prompts, I've already posted them. They're already posted in the module for that week so you can, you can see them. You can get writing them now, yo. Get on that. All right. Woo. Um, class materials. Listen, in each module, after the overview, there's a things to do before class, right? Class, which means things to do before you get into the lectures. So there's playlists, stuff to listen to, readings, some things to watch, some suggested stuff if you're like really deep into this, man. Um, you know, whatever. But it's called things to do before module, right? And so, I mean, it's just patently obvious what you should do. Um, there's also a valuable resources link that you can click on. It's all sorts of academic articles, documentaries, whatever, that may actually help you with your final presentations. They're just dope stuff to watch because like, or read or consume because you're into it, you know? Like some of y'all are gonna be really into this stuff. Some of y'all are kinda into it. Some of y'all listen to rap when you party and some of y'all you know, don't even like rap music, you just need an arts and letter class, and that's why you're here, you know? So we, we, we have the whole spectrum here, all right. Uh, academic misconduct, just don't cheat. Um, you know, don't plagiarize people on your presentations or plagiarize in your, um, in your essays. It's real easy to catch y'all, don't do it. We will punish y'all, um, you know? So check the University uh, of Oregon Student Conduct Code for that. All right, um, yo, um, we are obviously, you know, we, are, we work with AEC and AE students with AEC accommodations, so do hit me up uh, for quizzes. 
A lot of people who get AAC accommodations don't actually use them. Um, so if you need, if you have extra time for quizzes and you actually need that, hit me up so I can go and, and do all that stuff. But definitely, you know, um, you can work with me and your GEs on any of that. I, you know, I, I was graced with um, ADHD and dyslexia. So talk about a, a, a tandem of, you know, joys to have in your life when you're trying to go through 11 years of school and write a dissertation and and read continental philosophy and friggin' theory stuff that's just, you know, like, I'm like, I can't even really read that well. And you want me to read this? Cool. Um, then there's a whole bunch of stuff in the syllabus about COVID stuff. Listen, read it. Don't be an ass, like be respectful in your discussion sections and in in-person stuff. Be kind, be thoughtful of other people. I'm not going to read through all this stuff. It's there for you. There's all the plans for containment, how to be a good citizen, um, what you need to do if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated or you, you know, what, whatever. Um, there's a lot of rules. I think things could change. Who, who knows? But there's a section in there, you know, just so, so it's in there so you can see it. And there's all sorts of information for you, okay? I'm sure you've been inundated with this stuff, but it's there in the syllabus. Um, lastly, I post some student resources for y'all. Uh, health Center, Affirmative Action, Bias Response Team, um, all that stuff. Okay, so stuff for y'all. So that's at the back end of the syllabus. And that's it. It's probably faster for you to read this shit. This is like 25 minutes. Uh, it's horrible for me to do. No, it's not. I, lo I love doing it. I love reading my own syllabus. <laughs> uh, but for real, um, you know, if you want to just check this out, um, you know, and read the syllabus simultaneously, it may be helpful. But this is it. It's the real Dr. Dre here in the nerd lair in my barn, yo. Um, good to see y'all. Uh, I'm going to go play a little Miss Pac-Man. And, uh, yeah, I'll check you some point this term. Uh.